Hello and welcome back to the Super Heavyweight YouTube channel where in today's episode I've decided to change it up and I just wanted to show you um, how I go about on PES 2021 buying uh, and finding excellent quality players on the Master League and I thought now that it's Easter holidays many of you are going to start playing new Master Leagues and I just wanted to share with you my approach on how to go about finding some of the best players and it doesn't matter what team you're playing with so for example as you've seen on this super heavyweight youtube channel that um, i've played with teams such as manchester city and barcelona where we're expected to win everything so of course we're going for the best players whereas uh, on the pest 2020 master league where i started with arsenal the squad needed uh, a complete change uh, a massive overhaul so you saw me selling uh, multiple players bringing in some very very good players uh, and in the end we had players like harland etc um, who we managed to sign in the second season and then of course you've just seen uh, seen me playing with the uh, in the Fulham Master League uh, recently and you've seen how I've taken a team that was favourite for relegation and managed to get them into Europe by again um, finding some real bargains that's what I wanted to do today so and um, we're going to try and keep this video short and sweet so the first thing you do is um, I've just done one with Arsenal um, but it doesn't matter it's just going through the process of how I go out and filter uh, the advanced search to try and find some of the best players. So I'm going to get straight into it. We'll try and keep this as short as possible. So the first thing we do is we go to overall rating. And of course, I mean, if you're looking for youth team players, there's, there's several ways to approach this. Now, what I would tend to do is, uh, because I'm doing this live, I'm just going to go straight to an average rating of, say, 78. But what you would do is you would start with, say, 74. Then you'd go to... 78 and then you would look for players of course it does depend on your team but you can find some really good bargains so you go up in increments of four then what i'll do is i'll go to i'll start off with 84 and i'm just going to leave it to 78 just for the purpose of this video so we've got that what we'll then do is um you can put in the age if if that's what you're looking on looking for but for now i'm just going to go straight into it so i've just bait oops uh, I'm just gonna um, just switch that off and I'm gonna go into I mean you've got lots of different things for example height position etc but I'm gonna just go for every single player 78 to 84 and you can find some real bargains so for example once I've got to this point and um, the reason I've done Arsenal is because I just thought that um, I'll uh, maybe when I'm not recording just play with them so uh, and maybe upload one or two videos of there so first thing you do you can either go position, but I tend to go overall rating. So, of course, we've got 84 being the highest and 78 being the lowest. And now we've got everyone in there. So we've got lots of different players in terms of who we can sign. The next thing I always do when I look for players is I then go into possible release fees. Okay, so that's one possible option of going about it so for example you've got someone like Gareth Bell who's got a release fee of 15 million uh, I'll just quickly go through this Maratta again 36 million now I'm playing with Arsenal I've got a salary budget of 103,000 of course someone like Alexandro is somebody that I'm looking to um, purchase for my Barcelona Mars League uh, the Juventus left back so you've got lots and lots of really good players uh, you've got a really good goalkeeper who is um, someone that I don't really know much about. Um, but he's 26 million. He's 23 years old. So as you can see, there's some really good bargains to be found. Uh, Belotti, who we signed again on the Arsenal Mars League in PES 22 in our second season. He's very good. What do I like about him? He's got a very good jump, good stamina and good offensive awareness. And... Um, I'm just looking for his heading is 84 as well. So there's lots of players that you can do. There you've got Odiga. I mean, these are some of the players that you will actually find. Um, and then you've got a short-term player such as Navas, that he's 35 years old, used to play for Manchester City. Uh, he started off at Sevilla, I believe, and then he's gone back. So you will find many, many bargains. I mean, Dimitri Paye, for example, and I might actually sign him. 10 million. Uh, I'm a really big fan of his. And so you would go and go about Anana, another goalkeeper. So as you scroll down, you'll actually find some really, really good players um, where they have their release fee. Um, so you can start having a look. Uh, Javi Martinez, Douglas Costa. And these are highly rated 84 players. So that's one way of going about doing um, your Master League search. And of course, um, 
Sorry, I've just gone back and I've clicked the wrong one. The second way of uh, going about approaching the Mass League is go going through players. So if I go into here, as I can see, again, um, I would always focus on release fee for now. So if I go to, say, the players who are around 78, so we go right to the bottom. Sorry, apologies, I've just gone and messed this completely up. So if you're looking for a striker, maybe you can start for, go right to the bottom and then work your way up. So for those who are starting, if you're looking for a centre forward, for example, you'll actually find some really good bargains. Um, for example, uh, Dinamo Zagreb, Petkovic, if you're looking for a target man, uh, 79, and he's only worth 12 million. Rondon, again, a fantastic player. He used to play for Newcastle. Uh, West Bromwich Albion has scored multiple goals in the Premier League, would be a good striker. So you've got players like this that you can possibly go and have a look. I mean, Balotelli, who we signed for the Fulham Master League on a free transfer, uh, he's a free agent at the moment. So that's somebody you can go straight in and sign. Look, he's 79. Proven player. Uh, if you're looking for younger players, of course, you can then go back and do it based off age. But these are some of the strikers. Hosselu, if you've got a better team, you can start more from, say, the middle or the top. So, uh, Murata, as we've already looked at. Martial, he's slightly more expensive. But Danny Ings, 22 million. He's a bargain. I know he's had some serious injuries. Milik, the the Polish international who was involved in the goal most recently, uh, is 23 million. So, you've got players here that are worth a lot. Uh, Zuba, the Russian captain, um, very good target man here for 11 million. And of course, you'll you'll be able to sell him off. I mean, if you want to play with Falcao, I know he's slightly older, but you've got someone like Callum Wilson, 25 million. So younger players, Alexis Sanchez going at 32. So you will actually see lots of these players. I mean, if I was signing a player now, I'd go with um, Diego Costa. I know he's 32, but at 82, I think that's a bargain. So you've got many of these players that you could do. Gabriel Barbosa, they call him Gabby Gold. He's changed his hairstyle as well, but 82 rated at uh, nine, just say 20 million, and he's 24 years old. So you can see many, many players that you'll possibly be able to possibly try and purchase. I mean, these are slightly more expensive players, 40 million, but Osimin, if you, Victor Osimin, who plays for Napoli, very, very good player. Jovic, who we purchased for the Arsenal Marseille at 17 million, that's an absolute steal. So you will find lots and lots of players as you uh, scroll down. Soleimani, uh, the Algerian. Uh, Edward who plays for Celtic so you'll have a lot of those types of players I mean if we go to now say a second type striker uh, you'll see maybe slightly more I mean Morega for example again a really good player so this is how I go about finding players in my mastery when we start I mean Gareth Bale at 50 million I don't think we'd be able to afford his um, um, salary but you've got someone like Sarabia who plays for um, PSG, I mean look at his stats, 85, 88, acceleration 87, balance, so that's a good player, young as well, he's only 20, well fairly young, so you've got 3-4 years out of him, uh, Douglas Costa at 15 million, I mean, you imagine buying those two, uh, so you've got lots of players that you can possibly pick out um, in terms of being in that bracket of 15 to Bernadeschi, for example, at 82, he's 26 years old. So this is how I go about. I, mean, I just want to show you Kingsley Coleman. If, for example, I was to sell a player for 20 million, 25 million from my Arsenal squad, which is what I generally tend to do, I only put another 10, 15 million pounds in, and I've got Kingsley Coleman at 24 years old, overall rated at 83. So, I mean, there's lots of players that you can think of. I mean, I've just seen David Neres, uh, Gelson Martins. So, lots of players. There was one player that I just wanted to quickly bring to your attention that I've just seen. Sammy Castillo. Now, his release fee is essentially zero. But if you look at his market value, again, 80 rated, 25-year-old, the Spaniard plays for AC Milan. Um, if you look at some of the market values now, are actually quite low so even if they don't have a release fee generally if you spend around 15 million pounds you'll be able to buy someone of that stature so if you like your speedy wingers with good dribbling i mean that's your player 25 years old you can't go wrong so even though they don't have a release fee um i thought this is now the third tactic you can use look at their market value generally you'll notice 
that they're slightly cheaper. So look, Suso has a market value of 18. His release fee is 17 million. He's played for Liverpool, played for AC Milan, now at Sevilla. So again, you've got lots and lots of players that you could possibly do. I mean, I could go through this all day and show you some very, very good players. Um, I'm just trying to move on uh, to Kato, Kato Balda. Again, 88 and 87 acceleration, 11 million release fee, 9 million market value. Um, there's lots of players. Gonzalo Guedes played for Valencia, the Portuguese. Um, I think he may have been... I can't, I, there was a team before this that he was at. I'm not sure if it was AC Milan, actually. I can't remember now. But again, you've got players that you can possibly purchase. Jeremy Boga, I actually saw him play live for Chelsea. Uh, I'm just going to get a move on. Hudson Odoi at 28 million we've signed. He's 20 years old. He is now going to improve rapidly. Um, so you think... Two or three uh, a season down the line, he's going to be 81 82 rated, but he's worth 28 million. You sell a player for 10 million, so you can do this. Daniel Poldens that plays for um, uh, Wolves again, a fantastic talent. And there's so many players you can do. I mean, I normally go for this guy, Canoplia. I mean, these are some of the players that you can possibly do. So as they get slightly money, I used to play for Atletico Bilbao. If you haven't seen him, check out his highlights. Highlights against uh, Manchester United in the UEFA Europa League many years ago. Uh, an absolute beast. Munir that used to play for Barcelona at Sevilla as well. So there's lots of players that you can possibly choose. I'm just going to quickly go into now, say, the attacking midfielder. So, for example, Mesut Ozil, who I always purchase. Um, I'm not being biased here, but he is. I mean, just looking at some of these players, probably the best out of the lot. Anyway, and he's you're getting him for £7 million. I mean, that's a, that's a bargain, whereas you can get someone like Nabil Fakir, again, a good player, Odegaard, um, slightly more expensive, um, Chalanogul, who's a good one, at 30 million, I mean, you score many free kicks with him, Mkhitaryan, 82 for 20 million, um, so you've got just so many players that you can possibly choose from, that you can possibly, and as it goes slightly lower, um, Harriet, uh, one of the super heavyweight fans mentioned him to me, 18 million if I start this Mars League I can go buy him straight away ok if I don't want to go for Mesut Ozil I can buy Harry 18 million what a steal at 81 I mean by the end of the season he'll probably end up being 84 rated um, so there's lots of players in that respect that you can possibly pick out um, and you just go through and you can pick out a who's who of who you want um, very good times I mean, David Brooks for example 23 at 78 but you go slightly higher and you'll see some of these players going at um, slightly more prices. But again, look at their release fee. You'll probably find um, some good players there. I'm just going to go to defenders, for example. Oh, centre midfielders. I've just seen Fred. Eight, uh, 82 rated at 18 million. So if you've got 100 million, I've just chosen five or six players whose average overall rating is around 80. Um, again, you can go slightly higher. Um, and see who's available. Some of these players. Ramsey at 21 million. Still a fantastic player. Vidal slightly older. Okay, you might not want to go with it. It depends what you're looking for. Um, a left. So you, um, you can see who some of these players are. I mean, Draxler, I've just seen him for 20 million. Now, for those who know Draxler, uh, he's still one of the best players around. Golovin at 23 million. Kondogbia. Um, you will find lots and lots and lots of players. Uh, I just want to go to centre-backs because I think that's quite an important one. Or a defensive midfielder, you really need to get a good one. I've just seen one here. Barrios. Now, OK, he doesn't have a release fee. He's 14 million. I reckon if you bid around 17, 18 million, that's probably a player. Or even 20 million, just say for that example. You'll get a really, really good defensive midfielder with 87 defensive awareness, 88 ball winning, and 87. Now, if I go to Declan Rice... Whose release fee is 67. Okay, he's six years older. But look, you'll get six good seasons out of him. Declan Rice, who I'm a big fan of, by the way. 81, 82, 84. He's got 87, 88, 87 coming in. And you probably pick him up for 20 minutes. So that, that's the point that I'm trying to make. Is If you follow this approach, you'll find lots and lots of good players who are still young, etc. Um, based off, say, release fee, etc. So I'm going to try and end it now. Uh, Krikowia, if you watch the England-Poland game, I mean, he was absolutely uh, superb. Zambo and Guisa, 
Again, 80 defensive midfielder rated. Um, you've got Coquelin if you want. Ila Romendi, who used to play for Real Madrid um, at 8 million. Uh, so you can put together a really, really good team. Uh, Stepanenko, for example, at 31. Okay, you're playing with a smaller team like Fulham, whatever. You've got somebody like Jan MVA, who's going to be the next big big thing about six, seven years ago. Um, Steven Anzondi, I think his release fee is zero, but he's on at 10 million. He's played in the Premier League. I mean, he, I'm a big fan of Danilo Pereira. Um, and he's one that I would definitely sign. And in fact, for this Master League, I'm probably going to sign him, actually. But um, the Algerian Benessa, who's gone to um, um, AC Milan, uh, did really well at the African Nations Cup. So lots and lots of players that you can choose, right backs, etc. Um, Aspilicueta is going for 20 million. Um, Quadrado, maybe slightly. Uh, Sergio Roberto 25 Trippier 19 million so you've got an 83 rated right back I should have actually probably gone from every single player but you will find so many I always sign Dumfries 15 million release fee um, but he generally as he played you've got Danilo there from at uh, Juve who came from Manchester City um, Vasako at 80 again 8 million so you've got lots of I mean Des is going there for 80 18 million that's his release fee i definitely end up signing him and again so you've got so many high surge at 12 million from napoli he's a really good player um aguila who i uh, no sorry i think i've got the wrong one i had one that came in my um online and again you go to the bottom and you uh, see younger players etc that you can possibly choose i've gone to alexandra at 35 million okay the left back seemed to be a bit more difficult marcelo um, Dina at 22 million very good player as well so it depends what you're looking for um, Juan Bernat at PSG again 16 million you can't go wrong by signing some of these players so as I said just keep I mean Fabra is another one at 3 million Colombian 86 85 uh, acceleration if you go with his compatriot um, that we saw earlier on uh, as a defensive midfielder when I compared him to Declan Rice his name just slipped my mind you know, that's a good signing. So Fabra there for 3 million. His compatriot for 20 million. So in 23 million, you've got some really, really good players. Ricardo Rodriguez, he used to play for AC Milan at 3 million. Firpo is currently in my team. Kurosawa is one that I've been after for a while. Uh, he's at 10 million. So, I mean, there's so many players that you can pick. I'm just going to go to the centre-backs quickly. Um, I always consider Romagnoli at 25 uh, you've got to have an Italian defender in your team um, Golden slightly older but if you want to do with a season of him I think you, you can't really go wrong it shows he's at Cagliari I thought he actually went to um, I can't remember what team I thought he went to but there's so many players I mean uh, Jerome Boateng at 11 million Zuma my boy I know he's 30 million, but I definitely go for him. What a talent. I remember many years ago I used to play. I remember him at St. Etienne on FIFA. Um, so you can see lots. I mean, Josh Stone, I mean, John Stone's at 25 million. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be a bad signing as well? So um, there's lots of players that you could possibly be. Klosterman's one that a super heavyweight fan recommended. At 35 million. Now, look, he's 24 years old. He can go and be a good player till 32, 34. It depends on how long you want to play your um, Master League with. 93 pace and 93 acceleration and stamina 86. Can also play as a right back as well. A man marking, long throw, uh, heading. So as you can see, look, 82 is only going to get better and he can play as a right back as well. So if, need be, if needed as a left back, he can do that. We've signed him for our Barcelona Master League, but he won't come until... Um, the January transfer window and I'll wrap this up very quickly because I'm mindful of the time but this is how you would go about finding really really good players Christensen and these are young as well you don't need to find your 17 year old at 76 or 77 is going to cost you 20 30 million I've just found you Christensen at 22 if you need a proper center back um, I always sign Kier 81 31 he'll do a job um, if you want someone slightly cheaper we can have a look um, I'm just quickly going. I'm just having a look. 
Denier at 18 million, 25 years old, he used to play for Manchester City. You've got Keira, 25 million. Okay, you want someone slightly cheaper. Uh, Rodrigo Cal, um, 27, 81. He was um, the same as Gabby Gold. So that's another two players, along with the two Colombians, that you could bring in that would give you um, a really good team to put together. Um, just having a look to see um, who else that we could possibly get. Buy at 17 million for 26 years old at 80. Um, and I'm just looking there. That was a player that I was looking for. Masaccio, 80 rated defender for 7 million. Now, if you get, you want a cheap 15 million partnership, you go for Masaccio. Okay, he's 30 years old, but he'll be a stopgap. It depends on, it, and as I said, it depends on, I normally go for Sane. Um, look at his physicality and his heading. Uh, he partners Koulibaly for Senegal. But as I was saying, you had 7 million for, or 6 million or whatever it was for um Masaccio and his his defensive partner for seven million you could have him I mean there's players like um I probably missed out such as um uh Frank Kessie etc so you've got lots of players that you can possibly pick up um that are very good young as well uh Daniel Ragani his market value is 10 million. you probably pick him up for 14 15 million 26 um so I just go back to release fee because I find it easier with them just so that you can see, that's your starting point. It's always there uh, as a starting point. Um, Bayer Leverkusen uh, player, he's there for 31 million, mean, maybe slightly a bit more expensive. But Nastasic, 27 years old again. He'll last you a few years. And again, he used to play for Manchester City as well. Um, so as you can see, you will probably find some really good buyers. Anderson, who's currently at Fulham, 79, um, 13 million. Uh, Dyer is a good one I like. Um, probably have to spend a bit more for him. Um, but Caldera, again, playing for Atalanta. And if you look at Atalanta, there's a striker there called Muriel, who's um, 83 or 84, I can't remember. He's also worth um, 14 million. So you get a really, really good striker for cheap. Um, you just go through all of these and you will see some of them. I'm just trying to think if there anybody else that I have come across that would possibly be one uh, Vincent company is a free agent if you're interested so you've got quite a few Tamori Ben me Ben me at 78 who plays for Burnley Tamori at 18 million so you've got some young players um, that you could possibly be build up I like Mina but he's a bit expensive maybe but uh, the cells if you're looking for a certain place so you can go in as well uh, Glick is 3 million he's 78 probably but it depends on who you're looking for so as I say I'm gonna end the episode here you can do the same with the goalkeepers hope that was helpful and um, if you want to be specific and then you put in the age so you wanted someone from say 17 to say 23 let's just quickly do that and then I'll end the episode so that's how I go about looking for my players unless I'm looking for something specific I just got one more thing to show you Back to release fee, and then you can have a look. Jovic, 17. Edward, 15. Isak, one that I've actually purchased before. Um, Darwin. Bustos. Shavlov. I mean, there's just so many. You think of them um, in terms of your players. Again, Kwame at 17. So you can go for young players. Chiesa, if you want to play slightly more. Malcolm, used to play for Barcelona at 31. Um... So you've got this forward from Dynamo Kiev, uh, Zigankov. Under, who plays for Leicester City, used to play for the um, Italian team Roma, 17 million. Again, Mason Green was going very high. But you've got Daniel James at 12 million, potentially. Look at his speed. He could be a good super sub to come on. Uh, Trinkau. Just trying to think. Richard, no, he's too expensive. So if you go down these left wing sides... Hudson Adoy, uh, Diaz is a good one. So you and if you put the price slightly higher, I mean, Clivert's a free agent. So Justin Clivert's a free agent on this particular master league for 18 million. <laughs> you can't go wrong. So even though he's 78, give him a season or two, he'll probably be up to 80. Leon Bailey, 79. 
look at his pace. So again, I mean, you just you've just got to spend some time going through these, and you will find some really really good bargains. Um, Vlasic, Harrit, again, look at those two together, 23 years old. I mean, there's so many that you can possibly pick out. Um, Saar, the Senegalese um, player, again, 94, 91. It depends what you're looking for in terms of that, but you have to spend some time going over that. Harry Wilson's not a bad player. Um, Bergwin, 82. That's a good signing. Maxim, I'd go for him at 28. I mean, he is a top, top player. Uh, definitely go for him. Um, so you've got lots of players that you can possibly pick. I'm just quickly rushing through Renato Sanchez, 18 million. He won the Euros with um, uh, Portugal um, and was at Bayern Munich, was supposed to be the next best thing. Okay, didn't work out. Look, compare him to someone like Phil Foden. He's 81, okay. He's 20, he's 23. Now, you don't have 54 million, so you just go with Renato Sanchez at 18. Or you go even cheaper with this. Um, I would check out Flamengo because they've got some really good players. That's about the third or fourth player that I've seen. Um, and you can look through that. Uh, Palacios. Gwendouzi I'd actually probably pick up. Again, free agent. I've just found you two free agents. That would be very, very good. So even before you started your Master League. Of course, it, it will depend based off your Master League. So, I mean, I'm just going to let you go through that. Have a look. Um, Graven Birch, uh, do check out Ajax, they have some fantastic players. Um, so you've got a defensive midfielder there, 81 at 50 million. Oh, sorry, really, sorry, let me just go to the release fee. Sorry, apologies, uh, I was doing the wrong one, but you can go back, it'll be very similar where you go for 18 million. So Martinez at 18 million compared to a 67 million release fee or even a market value of that. Um, so he's the more he play, and remember, the more these players will play, the better they will be. So just remember that Douglas Lewis, um, now he's a bit too expensive, but um, Samari, Sangari. So I mean, there's just so many players you could possibly pick. Uh, so Dest would be a good one as a right back. Zifuk. So you 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 can uh, just choose the type of player that you um want uh, so I'm going to end the episode here Angelino a very good left back so you've got lots and lots of players that you could possibly choose um, Luis Felipe at 22 he's 23 years old um, just trying to Demiral's another one at Juve uh, the Turkish international Senesi the Argentine um, Tamori Romero so you've got lots of players that if you wanted, I mean, the goalkeeper's there as well. Hence, Lafont, definitely pick him. So you will find lots and lots of players. Do check this out. This is a must-watch uh, episode because you will find so many different players that you can possibly pick. So your choice that you go through, um, etc. and pick that. But I'll end the episode now. I hope you found that helpful. Um, do share that with your um, Pez friends via social media but that's how I go about um, choosing my players the last one I wanted to show you it might help it might not you've got transfer list loan list no renewal free agent I always have a look at this again first thing we do is we just make sure we go to overall rating and then you'll probably see some players so straight away I see Gwendouzi um, Balotelli um, just try and think who else. Alexandro Pato. I mean, do check out his highlights. Um, fantastic player. Justin Clivert's one there. Um, let's just have a look at who else that we'll probably see. So you've got lots of players that you can possibly choose um, on a free transfer. I'm um, just trying to see. Some of these are slightly older than I would have anticipated. But you've got quite a few players here. Uh, Jack Wilshire, again, quite a good player there as well. Had his injuries. Barini. I mean, you could put a, a team together with just uh, free transfers if you wanted to. And then, of course, once you've done the um, overall rating, you just go to position as well. Sometimes you miss out on some really good players as well. And they'll give you lots of good players that you could possibly have. Rafael Silva. 
Um, um, is he the one who plays for West Brom? I can't remember. Uh, Mitroglou. Yaya Sonogo. Do check him out. He's played for Arsenal. Uh, at one point, he was tipped to be the next Thierry Henry. Um, has had his fair share of injuries, I must add. So you can just choose who you want. In terms of all of these types of players, of course, we've gone a bit too far in terms of um, what's it called with the average in terms of that. But that's how I would go about it. It's those same principles, those four or five things that you need to look out for. So just remember, go with your overall rating in terms of increments of four. Make sure you've got, say, 72 to 76, 76 to 80, 80 to 84. Obviously, if you start getting higher than 84 then possibly they might be a bit more expensive. But also, what I would say is maybe I've missed out on certain players uh, that you possibly think would be a good bargain. Put that in the comment section and make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And um, I hope that would help you, especially uh, during your um, Master League search for players. So I'm going to end the episode here. I just want to say thank you very much. And maybe I'll show you my Arsenal Master League trying to pick out some really good bargains that I've just... Um, informed you about so i hope you found that helpful uh, so do watch that if you're starting your master league and i hope that will be very helpful and i'll just quickly go into my team just to inform you that look there might be certain players that i might look to sell for example um that i could get a significant amount of money for so release fee of 60 million uh, lacazette could go for a lot william could probably go for a lot pepe so i could sell some players from here not that i would but it's just um <clears throat> an option that you've got several players here that you could possibly sell Saliba at 20 million um, again a very good talented player because you've seen in the Fulham Master League but you could get rid of some of these players because you, you've got one two three four five six seven eight center backs at a club where probably four is enough um, of course it depends on how you want to go about doing things but you can have a look and I said Messi Ozil I'll end the episode here seven million or oh, sorry, just under 7 million release fee, even though his market value is 8 million, and you'll get some serious, um, look at that, 90, 87, 87, 88, and 85, and again, still very fit, um, so you could possibly look at that, um, but anyway, we'll end the episode, I hope you found that helpful, um, on how to buy, find excellent players with ver very good overall ratings, whether they be young, whether they be uh, middle-aged, uh, slightly older in 30, but again, they'll still give you two or three good seasons, and that will allow you to pick up, if you've got a budget of 100 million, find some very, very good bargains, especially some of those free transfers like Gwen Doozy, Justin Cliver, etc., and then the left-back Fabra, um, the, cent uh, the defensive midfielder for Columbia, whose name I've just completely forgotten. So you've got seven or eight, nine, ten players you can bring together. Of course, you can sell some of those and still have a lot of money to then buy someone like uh, uh, Kylian Mbappe if you've got 270 million when you sell half your squad. But we'll end the episode here. Just want to thank everyone. I hope you found that helpful. Do share that with lots of people who want to play. And remember, we're changing the game and taking over.